Hello everyone, Carolyn here and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I will be showing you my own original design and this is the Mardi Gras Ball Bracelet. It is a 10 pin bar wide design and this is how you want your loom configuration set up with your 5th and 6th pin bars aligned and then going up a staggered step twice and then down a staggered step twice. Okay, I will be showing you the band placement on this rendition. Okay, so for our first band placement, we are going to be placing the black Persian as well as the gold that you see going over the black Persian. And I do need to let you know if you're going to be adding beads that you want to do it as you loom because of the looming roach step, the top side of your loom is um, the signature side of the bracelet. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to take two black bands and run it across the fifth and sixth pin bar and then just work my way to the edge of my loom. Get a whole little handful here. And then again, just work to the edge of your loom. And once you get there, you can go ahead and go forward once and then do the same thing, mirror image for the opposite side. And working your way down and then you're going to go forward once and now you're going to take your next color, which again will be the gold. I'm going to be using um, purple, metallic purple, matter of fact. And then you're going to go forward on the second pin bar and then down in an angle to your first. And then you can just repeat with your perimeter color, forward with your purple, down diagonally with your purple or your corresponding color, up with your perimeter, forward, down at an angle and then repeat all the way up the loom. For the opposite side, same thing, mirror image, forward on your ninth, down at an angle, forward with your perimeter, forward on your ninth, then down at an angle, forward again with your perimeter, and then up and down at an angle with the purple. Okay, for this rendition, I used 21 gaps, and as you can see, that fits me rather well, so that's what I'm going to do again. That's five from the top is where I stopped, so I'm going to go up again 21 gaps, so I'm going to go off, finish mine up to the top, and then I'll be right back to show you how to close. All right, everyone, so I've made it to the top of my loom, stopping fifth peg from the top and we want to go ahead and close up our perimeter before we lay our next purple band so you want to go up at an angle twice and then down at an angle twice and then repeat that same thing mirror image opposite side up at an angle twice and then down at an angle twice and then we're going to take two more of our purples or your corresponding colors and just place them over our perimeter just like that. Okay, so now we are ready for our next band placement step. We're going to be working with the second, third, eighth, and ninth pin bars. In this rendition, it is the purple Persian with the looming roach step. And I'm going to be using metallic green. Um, for our first band placement and only our first band placement on both sides, we want to use two bands, okay? So two of my metallic, and then you're going to place single bands, zigzagging all the way up the remainder of your loom. And when you get to the top, you need to close with just one because of the way we're placing them. Again, start off with two, and then work a single chain using one. Just zigzagging all the way up your loom between the second and third and eighth and ninth pin bar all the way to the top and again when you get to the top and you close it off you just need to close it with one okay so I'm gonna go off finish that up and then I'll be right back for our next band placement step all right everyone I'm back and we are ready for our next band placement step in this rendition it is the Persian navy blue that you see going along here and here we are going to be working with the third and the eighth pin bar and we're just going to place a single chain all the way up the third and then all the way up the eighth. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, 
So I'm going to go off and finish that up and then I'll be right back for our next band placement step. All right, everyone, I'm back and we are ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the black Persian that you see going along here and also the green Persian. We're going to be laying them simultaneously and it's that side as well. So we're going to be laying those. We're going to be working with the third, fourth, seventh, and eighth pin bars. And what we're going to start off by doing is laying our Persian green. First, I'm going to be using a metallic purple again. And you're just going to go forward on your fourth, down at an angle to your third. And then I'm going to take my black, which is my Persian black in this rendition, and close that up by going up at an angle. And then we're just going to repeat this all the way up the loom. So again, we're going to go forward with our purple, down at an angle with our purple. And then if I can get them to lay right, come on. And then take my black and close that up, forward with my purple. Down at an angle, close it with my black, and then again, forward, down, oop, that's a thick band, down at an angle, close it up with your black, okay? You're going to do the same thing, mirror image for seven and eight, you're going to go forward, down at an angle, take your black and close that up for your corresponding color. Take your purple or your color, forward, down at an angle, close it up, forward, down at an angle, up at an angle with your black, forward, down at an angle, up at an angle. And it is lay right. Okay, so just continue that all the way up your loom, just alternating your colors all the way up to the top. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and we are ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the purple Persian in the gold that you see going along here and here. I'm going to be using gold and um, metallic green. And what we are going to do, we're going to work with the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th pin bar. And we're going to do basically the same step that we just did. We're going to go forward on our 5th. And then go diagonally. And this is going to be the purple color. Okay. And then I'm going to take my gold, which is also my gold in this rendition. And go up at an angle. And then just repeat all the way up the loom. So we're going to go forward, down at an angle, and then take the gold and go forward. Take our next color, go forward, down at an angle, our gold, and go forward, green, up, down at an angle, and go forward. Repeating that all the way up our loom. And we're going to repeat that same thing, mirror image for the opposite side. So again, I'm going to start off with my metallic green, go forward and then down at an angle, the gold to go up, lay right, there we go, and then forward, down an angle, gold and go forward, or excuse me, up to the right. Forward, down, up at an angle, forward, down at an angle, and then our gold, and go up at an angle, okay? And just continue that pattern for the remainder of your loom. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and we are ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the um, Persian navy blue that you see going along the center. We are going to be working with the fifth and the sixth pin bar, and we're just going to be placing X's all the way up our loom, starting with our left side, going up at an angle, and then just repeating all the way up our loom. Now, if you start um, 
from right to left just continue that up your loom so your bracelet is symmetrical I'm gonna go off and finish mine up to the top and then I'll be right back we've got one more band placement step which is our secondary perimeter um, actually I'll just go ahead and show you that while I'm here so what we're going to do is again just place a secondary perimeter along your original perimeter to the edge of your loom and once you get to the edge you just want to go ahead and work all the way to the center I mean all the way to the top and then again same thing mirror image opposite side just go ahead and work your way to the edge of your loom and then once you get there just work your way to the top and then when you get to the top of your loom just follow it around um, just like you did for your original perimeter okay so I'm going to go off finish up these two steps and then when I come back we'll be ready to loom be right back all right everyone I'm back and I've went ahead and added a double banded double looped cat band between the fifth and the sixth pin bar and we are ready to begin our looming steps we're going to go inside our capping band and grab our secondary perimeter and just pull it back upon itself all the way to the edge of the loom and then once we get there we're just going to work that perimeter all the way up and close it up to the top just like we would a ordinary perimeter same thing mirror image opposite side just go in pulling that out to the edge of your loom and then once you get to the edge just go ahead and work it to the top and then close it up again just like you would your normal perimeter I'm also going to go ahead and show you our next step because that's a fairly easy step as well we're going to be working with the fifth and the sixth pin bar going to go in and work our X bands all the way up grabbing our bottom most band first so to the left then to the right and continue that all the way up your loom to the left cross back to the right to the left to the home post to the right to the home post and continue that for the remainder of your loom all the way to the top I'm gonna go off finish up those two steps and then I'll be right back for our next looming step be right back all right, everyone, I'm back and we are ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh pin bars. And what we are going to do, we're going to go in and grab our diagonal band and loop it back to its home post. Go in and grab our forward band and loom it forward. And then we're going to take our diagonal band, which is our gold, and take it down. And then just repeat all the way up your loom. So um, diagonally with your green, or your corresponding color then forward and then down diagonally and then again forward or diagonally forward down at an angle Ooh, pulling the loom everywhere down at an angle up at an angle forward and then down at an angle and repeating that all the way up the fourth and the fifth pin bar and then we're going to do the same thing mirror image for the opposite side so we're going to go into our sixth grab and pull our diagonal up at an angle forward if I can grab my band and then down at an angle up at an angle forward down at an angle up at an angle forward down at an angle not one band not two up at an angle forward and then down an angle okay so just continue that up your fourth fifth sixth seventh and pin fourth fifth sixth and seventh pin bars I'm gonna go off finish mine up and then I'll be right back for our next looming step all right everyone I'm back and we are ready for our next looming step we're going to be working with the third fourth seventh and eighth pin bars and I have zoomed in um, so you can see the next step what we're going to be doing we're going to go in and grab our purple or your corresponding band and bring each one of those back to the home post that's the easy part of this step okay 
And now what we're going to do, we're going to go inside of our peg and grab our black band or your corresponding color and just kind of hold it, okay? Now we're going to go back in through that peg just in the bands that have already been kind of looped and tugged. And then we're going to push our hook down and through that first side of the purple. See, just one side of it. And then we're going to grab, oop, let me grab my black. I didn't have it quite good enough. Again, going to grab your black after you go through one side of that purple and pull it back and around our pen. Okay, that first one should be the hardest to get going. After you get that first one, it should be rather easy. And now we're going to go in and again, just loop our purple back to their corresponding home post. And now we're going to do our reverse cuff stitch again. So we're going to go in and grab our black and just hold it and go in through those bands, through the first side of purple, grab our band, bring it down through Oh, don't get hung up. There we go. Through the bands and back around the peg and then loom up to the next purples. Okay. And then again, going to go in, grab our black and hold. Go back in just through the bands that have been looped and one side of the next purple grab our band and bring it down and around our pen okay and then again work our purple up each back to their corresponding home post now it's time for our black again so we're going to go in and pull hold with your finger or correspond another hook whatever is easier go through the bands and through our first side of the purple on the opposite side, grabbing our black and bringing it back and around the peg. Okay. And then loop our purples back out. I'm going to do it one more time on this side with you. And then I'm going to hop over and show you the other side. Okay. So again, you're going to go in, grab your black, hold, go in through or underneath your peg, grab your band and bring it down and around the peg and then just loop out your purples. Okay, so you're going to continue up the third and the fourth pin bar doing that. And then again, you're going to do the same thing, mirror image for the seventh and the eighth. So go in, grab your diagonal band and pull it back your forward band. Now you're going to go in and grab your black. Now remember this is probably going to, going to be your trickiest one to get started. But you're going to go underneath the bands that you've gotten loom so far and then half of your other one. Grab your band. If I can get it on there. I think I got it. And then down and around and then back through onto your peg and then just loop your purples back and then again go in grab your black hold it and go down through what you've already looped half of your purple mm -hmm. Come on, cooperate hook. There we go. And then we're going to grab our band and then pull it down and around our peg and then pull our purples back. Okay. Again, grab our black. 
We're going to hold it through the peg we were just pulled the black from through one half of our purple. Grab your black band. If I can get it. <laughs> Come on, cooperate. There we go. And then bring it back and around our peg. And then we're going to loop our purples out. Okay, a couple more times with you on this side and then I'm going to leave you off. Alright guys, so again you're going to go in and grab your black. And pull it down. And then you're going to hold it and go through the peg underneath half of the purple. <laughs> and then grab that black and bring it back around the peg and then you're going to loop up your purple or your corresponding color okay and I'm going to do it one more time with you guys and then I'm going to go off and leave you and if you're still having problems just please go back and rewind and then catch back up with us once you're done okay so again you're going to go in and grab the, your black and hold it with your hand or a secondary hook whatever is easier for you go up underneath the bands that you have loomed and half of your other purple Grab your band. I think it's easier if I grab it from up underneath. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Come on. There we go. You grab it, bring it back up underneath, around your peg, and then just loop out your purples, okay, or your corresponding color. All right, guys, so I'm going to go off, finish that up, and then I'll be right back with our next looming step. All right, everyone, I'm back, and I've gotten our last looming step completed. Yay! So now it's on to the rest of the easy stuff. We're going to be working with the third and the eighth pin bar, working our single chain up the loom. So we're just going to go in and grab our single chain band and loom it back to its home post. And if your secondary border comes off, that's okay. Just pop it back on and go in and just continue to loom that single chain band all the way up your loom. All the way up the third, and then we're going to go back into the eighth, and again do the same thing. Just grab our single chain band and loom it forward all the way up. Okay, so I'm going to go off, finish that up, and then I'll be right back for our next looming step. All right, everyone, I'm back and we are ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the second, third, eighth, and ninth pin bars. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the third and always pull out to the second. Just pulling each one of those bands back to its corresponding home post all the way up our loom. Okay, easy, easy step. And if you remember when we were placing the bands, I told you that these would have the looming roach step. And you want to do the same thing for 8 and 9. You're going to go always into the 8th and pull out to the ninth. Okay. Okay. And what you're going to do with the looming roach step is you're going to go in 
and grab the two most bottom bands and bring them up and around your peg. Okay, you can do two at a time, you can do one at a time, just whatever you prefer. However you prefer to do that step. But again, just going in and making sure you get the two most bottom bands. Now, because we have a secondary perimeter, that's why we only put one here. I'm not going to be looping that one over. I just started the looming roach step here. And again, you're just going to continue that all the way up your loom on both sides. So again, I'm going to go up a peg and start there because our secondary perimeter. And then just go in and lift them up all the way up your loom, okay? So I think I've done enough for you to be able to kit it. I'm going to go off, finish that step up, and then I'll be right back for our next looming step. Be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and we are ready for our final looming step. We're going to start off by looming out our perimeter. Out to that point right there. We can go ahead and loom this one forward. That way we have a clean perimeter. And then we can finish looming the perimeter all the way out to the edge. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and loom that one forward. That way I can just go straight forward. I mean, I'm straight across with my perimeter, rather. Okay. Get on there. Okay. All right. And so once you've gotten to the edge of your loom on either side, you just want to go forward with your perimeter, and then you're going to go across with your purple, your corresponding color, and then forward with your straight forward band, and then forward with your perimeter and then just repeat. So over and then forward and then forward with your perimeter and then again over and then forward. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing mirror image to the opposite side. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that forward to the side, forward, forward, to the side, mm -hmm. forward, and then forward with your perimeter, and then again continue to the side, and then forward again. Okay, so you're going to continue that to the top of your loom. I'll jump back in and show you how to close, and then we'll pull it off and be all done. Be right back. All right, everyone, so I've made it to the top of my loom, and to finish closing it off, we're just going to continue to loom from the edges of our loom to the centermost point. Oop, doo -doo, get on there and stay. And then again, looming everything back to the centermost pin bar. Okay, and then once we get there, we're going to go in and grab our two most drop bands, and pull them up, go into the other side and grab our two bottom bands, and then we'll just attach a C clip. And then when you pull it off, you want to make sure that you um, go start from the outermost side of your loom and work your way to the center and be careful um, because some of them might have a little more tension than others. I'm going to go off, pull mine off, and then I'll be right back with our finished rendition. Be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back and I have gotten our Mardi Gras ball bracelet off of the loom and hopefully your rendition looks something like this. 
I hope you have enjoyed today's design and tutorial. If you have, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe by hitting the little button below. And if you do decide to make a rendition, please remember to tag me and hashtag a Mardi Gras bracelet on Instagram. That way I can see all of your beautiful renditions in one place. I think that'll be it for today. Loom on loomers. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.